Winter has come for those living in Westeros. Winter is here. The White Walkers have breached the Wall and are making their descent south towards Winterfell. In order to stop them, our heroes need to be in particularly good shape. Thank goodness the actors on the show follow a pretty intense and personalized workout regime. We'll be looking at what the actors who portray Jon Snow, Jaime Lannister, Daenerys, Khal Drogo, and The Mountain used while working on the hit HBO epic Game of Thrones. Oh, and if you're not at least caught up to Season 8 Episode 1, be wary as we'll be open about certain plot points throughout the show. If you think about it, everyone is pretty fit on Game of Thrones. Well, everyone except Robert Baratheon, maybe, but he was one of the first to go. Fat. Fat, is it? The rest of the cast is in excellent shape. And they'd have to be. Many of the actors have extensive fight sequences on the show, or have to do a whole lot of walking throughout the seasons, and you can't do that if you're out of shape. So, in order to convince us, the audience, that these actors can play the part, many of the actors started intense workout regimens in order to be their best selves for the show. Let's start with the hero of the hour, Jon Snow. He's leading the charge against the Night King and the Army of the Dead, so you know he's got to be in peak physical form. When we saw him topless in Seasons 6 and 7, fans got a chance to check out Kit Harington's shredded torso as they saw the wounds that killed him in Season 5. What did Kit do to get into shape? For Kit, most of the time he's dressed in many layers of clothing, including a large cloak, so we don't get a clear understanding of how in shape he is. Usually this costume is said to weigh around 22 pounds, so already you need a certain level of stamina to carry that around all day. His determination for working out started when he was on the set of the critically panned film Pompeii, where he packed on roughly 26 pounds or two stone of muscle in five weeks. He says that he has a naturally slim physique, and it's harder for him to bulk up. So for his role in that film, he wanted to be prison lean, like De Niro in Cape Fear. In order to do this, food is the real king. Kit, like many other people around the world, has a fast metabolism, which makes it harder to gain muscle by working out. So eating the right foods, and lots of it, is the key to success. He consumed on average around 5,000 calories a day of food that included brown rice and sweet potatoes, which are high in carbs, and plenty of chicken, which is high in protein. Kit's trainer, Dalton Wong, recommends various herbs in order to add flavor to otherwise dull meals. But Jon Snow isn't the only physically fit character ready to fight the White Walkers. As evidenced by the end of the Season 8 premiere, Jaime Lannister has abandoned his sister and has traveled to Winterfell in order to help fight off the Army of the Dead. Jaime, played by Danish actor Nikolai Koster-Waldau, is known for his expertise in sword combat, and as such, Koster-Waldau had to make sure he could make Jaime's actions believable. But he had to find alternatives in order to make it happen. Nikolai stated in an interview with Muscle & Fitness that he doesn't necessarily like working out at the gym, and that doing his cardio sessions on a treadmill seems to be torturous to him. Why run a treadmill when you can go outside and do it, he ponders. He has a point, and he's not limited to running outdoors. He enjoys mountain biking or cross-country skiing for those cold winter days. As long as he's not indoors and running in place, Coster Waldo is happy. But in order to pack on the muscle, he does have to suck it up and go lift some iron, where he focuses on his core, which he says helped him with a chronic back injury. That way, he wasn't just in peak physical form, but he was also healthy. See, it's not all about looking the part, you have to feel the part too. But as long as I'm better than everyone else, I suppose it just does. But sometimes the actors are faced with busy schedules and can't really get the time for a workout in, especially if they're not expecting to do any sort of fight or action sequences on the show. But that doesn't stop the actors, including Masande actress Natalie Emmanuel. She is a big fan of yoga, and her Instagram feed shows off her dedication to staying in shape by taking the time to focus on the popular stretching exercise. In fact, she's a qualified teacher in yoga now. She tries to put in at least an hour a day to work out, and we can support that. If she's not doing yoga, she's also big on getting some laps done in the pool. At least 1K every session. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum is Hopthor Bjornsson, better known to us as the mountain that rides. Who am I fighting? The Icelandic strongman was named best in the world last year in his profession, and there are no doubts that the results are scary and impressive. We say scary because in April 2019, while talking with ESPN, Bjornsson admitted to steroid use in order to become the best he could become. He's consistently passed all of his tests, so we're still unsure if this was early in his career or if he still uses performance-enhancing drugs, something that's banned in his profession. Needless to say, we don't approve of steroids. 
But it's not like Hapthor sits on his butt doing nothing. The Icelandic mountain used to be a tall, albeit skinny kid with hopes of being a basketball player. He stands over 2 meters tall and weighs in at 185 kilos in 2019. Unlike others on this list, Bjornsson lifts heavy and lifts a lot. His max deadlift is 474 kilos. He can squat 440 kilos and can bench 250. He works out six times a week and focuses on strength rather than size. A typical food day for Bjornsson includes six to eight eggs in the morning, a 200 gram shake shortly after that, plus 400 grams of chicken breast and veggies. This is followed up with a protein shake during his workout along with some meat and more veggies fish and veggies in the evening, and protein before bed. We guarantee you'd get sick if you tried consuming that much. Then there's Dickon Tarly. While he may have the silliest name in all of Westeros, Dickon. <laughs> you best not pick a fight with him, or the actor who played him in seasons 6 and 7. While he was only on the show for a few episodes, he made quite the impression on Fitness Nuts. And if you've watched either Black Sails or The Umbrella Academy, both awesome shows by the way, then you'll be familiar with Tom Hopper. Man, is this guy shredded. Like Kid Harrington, Hopper's impressive physique starts with diet. On Instagram, he highlighted a meal of salmon, broccoli, and sweet potato mash, stating it took all of 15 minutes to make it. Unlike most actors who work out for an hour or two, Hopper actually only works out for 15 to 20 minutes at super high intensity, never stopping in order to get a huge metabolic boost while working out the whole body. Looks like it's working. One such routine sees him lifting a barbell for the entire duration of the routine, and 10 reps of deadlifts, bent over row, front squat, push press, and back squat, all while never stopping. But Dickon met his end by the Mother of Dragons on Game of Thrones. Dracarys. It takes a determined person to cook a son and his father alive with dragon breath. And Amelia Clark is certainly determined. Where are my dragons? Despite sitting down on dragons during the major action sequences in the past few seasons, Clark isn't a pushover when it comes to fitness. Clark has had to keep in shape for her role as Daenerys Targaryen, so you know she has to be in the best shape possible. Clark works with James Dugan, her personal trainer who's also a cookbook author. Dugan states that as soon as you start weighing your food, counting the calories, or feel guilty about actually going out to dinner, it's over. It's all about finding that balance in order to live healthy and happy. He suggests that if you want to train and eat like Khaleesi, you should ditch the whole diet mentality and focus on what's working for your body. Since Clark is always on the move, like Daenerys, Dugan recommended mobile workout options for her in order to keep up with her routines. Items such as resistance bands, which can easily be packed, and when the iron isn't available, make use of your own body weight by doing push-ups and planks. Dugan also stresses the importance of recovery post-workouts, which allows your body to repair itself after you've taken it through the ringer. It's all about having a healthy body. You know who didn't have a healthy body by the end of his time on the show, though? Daenerys' horse lord hubby, Cal Drogo, played by Aquaman star Jason Momoa. Drogo met his end due to an infection from an untreated wound, and eventually died after a witch put him in a coma, forcing Danny to kill him in mercy. But don't let that deter you should you decide to train like the Dothraki. Jason Momoa's workout ethic seems to contradict everything we've said up until this point. He avoids the gym and regularly consumes Guinness, his favorite alcoholic beverage. We can appreciate that, but how does he look like this if he's not a model student? Well, that's because Momoa does things his own way. When it comes to working out, he likes to get up early, usually around 5 a.m., and starts by trying to get some running done outdoors. Like Coster Waldau, he prefers the great outdoors and improvised workouts as opposed to a strict regimen at the gym. Lately, he's been very into rock climbing, a workout that was used effectively during the Aquaman production. In order to get away with drinking a beer, he accounts for how many calories each beer is and adjusts his workouts and diet accordingly, allowing him to have that Guinness while also meeting his goals in other categories. It's a fair compromise. Work hard and ensure there's something enjoyable waiting for you at the end. But of course, a visit to the gym is sometimes needed. When Momoa does go to the gym, whether for Game of Thrones or Aquaman, he does shorter workouts that focus on high intensity. The routine, called Accelerated Results 7, is broken down like this. Pick your chosen workout and do seven reps, then take a seven second rest. Do this seven times, then do the same with six reps and six second rest, and then the same again for five and five. Your total rep should be 110 per exercise when it's all said and done. Be sure to drop your weight load for this one. Lighter is the key if you want to tackle it. You'll only be doing four exercises a day with this one, but it sure is a doozy. My man. 
Those are just a few workouts from the very talented cast of Game of Thrones. Who do you think is the best workout with the best results? Will you be trying any of these workouts in your spare time? If so, which one? Let us know what you'll be doing in the comments, and be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in your playlist every day. Thanks for watching!